don't let the enemy pull you in. Amen. Amen. Just keep on pulling. Yeah. It's amazing when God steps in the scene. Because the enemy knows when God steps in the scene. Yeah. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit of God is there. Yes, the enemy God. begins to get a little weary. Yes, you get a little bit of shape. Then you get a little stronger. Yes. Because you know that God's in there. So you get to pull a little harder. Yes. And God says, I got the back piece and I'm pulling with you. Yes. Just keep on going, keep on going. See, the enemy's going to eventually let go. That's, That's the right. spirit of God says, I command you to let go of yes. my people. Yes. Yes. I command you to not touch my people. Yes. I command you to let go. My God, my God. But we have to start again. Amen. Don't worry if it's just a few of y'all. That's right. As long as we're serving God. That's right. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. One other thing. Well, we must be united in prayer. Amen. 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 We say a family that prays together. Pray together. Yes, How can we do the will of God if we don't even pray together? Ah, Jesus. Come on. We must pray together and pray for one another. Oh, yeah. Amen. See, we're so selfish sometimes in our prayer that we ask for God for things for us. But take a moment just to pray for someone else. Amen. Take a moment and say, you know what? I pray that the bond gets a new job. I pray for a moment that people get out of bondage by nature bondage. See, if you pray for other people, God's going to see what you're doing. And your blessings will come on to you. Let's put away those selfish behaviors. That's right. yes. That's right. Encourage one another. Oh, yes. right. When you see your brother or sister suffering, yes. Yes. instead of talking about them, pray for them. Yes. Yes. If you see your brother or sister fall to the wayside, go get them. Yes. And if they don't want to go, pray for them. That's right. Pray for your church. Yes. 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 We're so busy praying for what we want, but pray for Come your on. church. Oh, you're helping somebody. You're helping somebody. Pray for the house of God. Yeah. That we be able to edify him and glorify him yeah. and reach those who are unsaved. Yeah. Somebody reached out and grabbed you. That's right. That's right. Preach you. Yeah. Preach you. the Holy Spirit, God, you be able to pray. Amen. And speak to those people. Yes. yes. Not only that, just pray. Just have a relationship yeah. with God. Yeah. 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 If you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, Ooh. how can you be filled if you don't know who you serve? Some people just say, okay, that's God, but that's your father. That's right. He's the creator of all things. Amen. Amen. If you seek his face that's right. and pray for him and pray with him, you be yeah. given this strength you couldn't have before. Amen. Now, when we have been united in prayer, that we're all filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And one thing about the church back then, they were all unified because they were all right with God. Yeah. And they were filled with the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Now, members of the church were all in different stages of our spiritual development. Mm -hmm. Some are saved, but immature. Mm -hmm. Some are saved and growing. Mm -hmm. Some are saved and spirit-filled. Mm -hmm. And some are not even saved. My God, my God, my God. This diversity is difficult in the family of the church. Yes. Now, there's no way around diversity. But it's God's will for us that every single saint be filled with the Spirit. Yes, yes. To be filled is to be controlled. So when we say, he controls me, he controls you. Mm -hmm. When we walk together, we walk in his power and yes. his glory. Amen. Now we have to be united in performance. Mm -hmm. Each of us should be busy doing their own part. Amen. God did not say for anyone to sit down. Yep, he saved us all to serve. Amen. A faith that won't work isn't real. Mm -hmm. No task is unimportant or small. Yeah. And each one is vital to the success of the church. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you're an usher. That's right. It doesn't matter if you're a trustee. That's right. It doesn't matter if you're a deacon or a deaconess. Mm -hmm. If we all work together yeah. and put our part together, yeah. we can glorify God. Yeah. See, you got to look at the body. That's right. You have the reason you have to see. Right. Don't see with your carnal eye, but see with your spiritual eye. That's right. You have to hear, mm -hmm. but don't hear the things of this world, but hear the things of God. That's right. Every part is important. That's right. When you speak, do not speak of these things of this world, but speak of the things of God. That's right. When you walk, you walk into your anointing. Yes. 
you never let any part of the body fall apart because every part is essential for God. Yes. When you're connected together, it will lead you to God. Yes. So it doesn't matter what part of the church you serve. Yeah. You may not be the pastor, you may not be the minister, yeah. but you're still important. Yeah. 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 You can't be a pastor and still be serving at the usher door. That's right. You can't be a pastor and taking up the trustee table. That's right. You can't do it all. But if you just get a few people that are willing to work for the kingdom of God Amen. and work together Amen. and we put away any back talking, mm -hmm. any malice behavior, if you just That's put right. that away, I'm not going to say it's going to be perfect. I'm not going to say that people are not going to get on here. Yeah. That is coming. But if you serve a God Come on. That's, right. that's wonderful and loving, mm -hmm. in spite of how they made you feel for that second, mm -hmm. you can still show the love of God oh, yeah. and build up his kingdom. Amen. See, if you're really about your father's business, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. if you're really about your father's business, right. it doesn't matter what that's that person right. said. That's right. You're still going to serve. You serve not because you have to, because you have a love and a relationship with God. Yeah. 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 Don't serve for a title. That's right. Don't serve for a promotion. Help somebody. Help somebody. Because you're not going to move anywhere in the kingdom of God yeah. if you have the wrong reasons. Uh -huh. Don't think that the Spirit of God yeah, is not going to let your leaders know yeah. what your material oh, motives are. Yeah. 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 Just like you're filled with the Spirit, so are our leaders. Uh -huh. yeah. right. And God will make things clear to the leaders. Oh, yeah. Amen. Just do your part. You Don't give up. We have to be one-minded, one accord, Amen. focus on one agenda, right. and that's to serve God. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of times it's hard, and I know it's hard. Mm -hmm. We look at things, and life becomes a distraction. Mm -hmm. You may not be able to pay your bills. My God. Your children are acting funny. All right. Your marriage is falling apart. Uh -huh. But see, you don't understand. That's the enemy. That's right. The enemy's creeping in because he knows that God has you. Mm -hmm. If he can pull you away, yes. Yes. he's going to attack you. Yes. Okay. And don't get discouraged when he attacks you. Count it as a blessing. Uh -huh. That's right. There you go. Count it all joy. Because if you count it as a blessing, yes. you know who you're serving. Uh -huh. And I always say this if you don't have any attacks of the enemy, it's time to reevaluate uh -huh. your life. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If everything is peachy clean, all your bills are paid, your job is wonderful, your children are acting right, it's time to reevaluate who you serve. See, the enemy don't want what he already has. That's right. Now, if you're serving God, well, the enemy's going to attack. Oh, yeah. And he's going to get smarter every time. He knows what you're dealing with. He knows what you have to deal with problems with. He knows where to attack. Yes. Right. Some of us can lose a job and be okay. Uh -huh. We know how to manage. Uh -huh. But some of us, we're not as strong in that area. Uh -huh. So if he knows you're not that strong in that area, he's going to take your job away. Uh -huh. He want to see, are you really a child of God? Uh -huh. Do you really love your father like you say you do? If I remove this, yeah, yeah. will you still have the Holy Spirit That's in you? Right. If I move this, will you still give praises unto God? If I move this, will you still give God all the glory? If I take this away, will you curse your God? You have to have the spirit of Job. No matter what happens, no matter what happens in your life, have that one accord spirit. Let the Holy Spirit dwell in you. And let God speak to your situation. If you allow God to speak to your situation, to speak to you, yes. your fears will go away. That's right. yes. Your doubt will begin to go away. Yes. And watch those problems go away. Amen. See, the enemy may be able to take that job away, mm -hmm. but God knows you have a better one. When you find yourself sick yes. and can't move, My God. just think that the devil's trying to keep you from moving. Uh -huh. yeah. But see, if you just in your hospital bed, uh, 
Yeah. You give him praises. Yeah. See, some guys gonna send somebody your way. Oh, yes. Amen. Don't think you can't minister in the hospital. Because <laughs> right. in, in anywhere you can minister to God. Right. But see, you're connected to the Spirit of God. Uh -huh. See, if you can be sick, and you can hear all the doctors report, and they can tell you everything that's not gonna yeah. go well. Yeah. And they can concentrate for all this negativity in you. Come on, give me But right. if you begin to just stay connected yeah. to the Spirit, to yeah. connected to God, yeah. So God's going to send somebody your way. Okay. And they're going to begin to say, what is it about you yeah, that's right. that you're not crying? Uh -huh. What is it about you that you that's get right. to doubt? Right. You're not crying God. What is it about you? Yeah, that's, that's when you begin to minister to them and talk to them about God. Yeah, that's right. See, what I like about that day is that they were all one accord and they began to speak tongues mm -hmm. in different languages. They didn't let the outside world come on. Interfere where they were going. My God, my God. And there was people that were yeah. watching. Yeah, yeah. There were people that said they were drunk. There were people that were saying they were crazy. Yeah, but if yeah. you don't allow the unnecessary noise, come on, come on. Come if you don't allow the world to ever come in, yeah. you have to have a protective shield over you. You say, oh, God, I ask right now that you protect this right now yeah. because there's going to be people that are going to speak about you. Uh, Don't think that people have not looked at St. James Missionary Church come on, come on, yeah. and talked about this church. Yeah, they yeah. won't, they will yeah. never, and they can never do it. Yeah. But see, we stay connected yeah. one accord. Yeah. We uh, stay connected uh, to the vine. Uh, we cannot move and we cannot right. doubt God. And Amen. we kept the spirit of God in this place. We were yeah. spirit filled. We are yeah. spirit filled yeah. people. Great. The spirit. We are oh spirit filled people. Oh and there's going to be people yeah. outside this world that are going to say, they're not going to pay their mortgage. Oh, they're not going to be able to keep the lights on. They're not going to make it another year. And every year we make it one more time. And every year we pay the mortgage. Not only do we pay the mortgage, but we're keeping everything together. Not only do we pay the mortgage, but we're able to do missionary work. Not only do we have a place to keep going, we keep it together because we stayed in one accord with one spirit. If they do, go ahead and just smile their face and make it's going to be all right. You just got to keep on going. People are going to doubt you. There's going to be doubt there. We have to stay one accord. And there's going to be a few. They're going to begin to doubt. Amen. Every year we have seen this here. That's right. Amen. There's nothing new. You've seen that we get excited because we have funds to come into this building. Amen. We purchase